last time, if I remember correctly, I think the professor had found that his squirks could count up to one. Let's recap. First, you get a squirk. Then, when you put the squirk's tail on the negative side of a battery, the squirk makes a zero. And when you put its tail on the positive side, it makes a one. Well done, Professor Mac, who's just invented the machine for counting up to one. Only what the professor doesn't know is that the squirks can count much higher than one. Because when the clock strikes noon, they all know it's time to eat. Well, we could tell you about the professor's research as he tried to solve this mystery. The sleepless nights in the laboratory. There's no end to the stories we could tell. Uh, but remember, we are here to learn something, aren't we? So, whenever they wanted to count more than one, the squirks just grouped together. It's as simple as that. There was a special squirk team responsible for counting the 12 chimes of the clock. One squirk all by itself could only count up to one. That's true. When the clock struck again, it went back to zero, but told its neighbor to take over. And the neighbor marked a one on its back. When they were both full, they both went back to zero and told their neighbor. As you can see, they used a base two numbering system, which is called the binary system. But Maximatic had a question. How do your squirks know that the clock isn't striking 12 midnight? If you've got any answers to that one, drop us a line. Because to tell you the truth, we haven't found the answer yet. <laughs>